Crawfish? This one seems like a decent one. Oh yeah, that's a decent one. Oh, that's a really nice one. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, wow. Oh, holy crap, that's a really nice one. Let's freaking go. Barely lip two. Let's measure them. 12 and a half. 12 and a half, the elephant croaker. Beautiful fish. Maybe. I think we finally got a fish. Let's see. Yep, that feels like it. Nice, let's go. It's a pretty good barred surf perch. Heck yeah. Been fishing for like three hours, no bites. Finally got one. Looks like he went for the muscle. Nice, look at this guy. Pretty decent size. I want to guess maybe nine to 10 inches. Let's see how close I get. Yep, looks like he's about nine and a half. That's a really nice solid first catch. All right, let's let you on back. Thanks for playing, Mr. Bard Surf Perch. Give him a bit. Okay, there he goes. What's up, anglers and anglets? It's your boy Sven, and welcome back to my channel. When I got out here, it was too dark, but since we finally caught a fish, might as well do it now. I'm out here at Oceanside Pier, I'm doing some pier fishing. Decided to come out here, give it a shot. It's a beautiful day, nice and sunny, no clouds, very little breeze. Very, very nice today. Kind of want to get right back to it. Let's see what else we can catch. For that barred surf perch, I actually caught it underneath the pier. So I'm gonna cast right back down there. Just swinging it back and forth right now, just to get underneath all the support beams down here. And then once you're in a good swing, just let it go, tighten it a bit, and then just put it down. Because I am fishing a little bit more passive, I am gonna use a little bell. When a fish bites, it'll just... When a fish bites, it'll just ding -a so I know it's there. Bells are pretty useful for bait and weights if you're just going to let it sit there. If you have multiple rods, it'll let you know that something's at least on one of them. And now we just wait again. Hopefully it doesn't take another three hours. I'm out here with Pure Life Fisherman. He actually just caught a small yellowfin croaker right now. He swallowed it. He likes the fish bites. Yeah. Not skunked. Yellowfin croaker on the fish bite. Some pink fish bites, <laughs> yeah. shrimp flavor. Yellowfin croakers love it. Also out here with JLHA Fishing. He's the master for the day. He knows where all the good fish are. Caught another fish while I was gone. Yellowfin. Yellowfin, how big? Nice, that's really good. Oh yeah, yeah, you definitely have it on. Oh, not yet, not yet. Okay, I think it's on. I think it's on. Yeah, yeah it's on. It's on. Fish on. What is it? Yellowfin croaker for Sven. Caught a little dinky one. All right, let's get him off. A little dinky boy. Things about six inches. A little too small for my taste. Took like another hour and a half for this guy though. Bite is slow, but they are coming in. Thanks for playing, Mr. Yellowfin. For that yellowfin croaker, cast it out maybe like 20 feet. Doesn't even have to be super far. Fish like to school, so maybe there's a couple more yellowfin croakers out there. Pure Life might have got something. Nice, another yellowfin croaker. Looks like a seven to eight incher. Probably. Nice. Look at that jack smell. That's <laughs> huge. How big do you think that is? That is a one foot, maybe. Normally when we catch smelts, they're going to be like six inches. This is a huge one. Never see them this big. Okay, stop, 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 stop. If you cover its eyes, it's gonna stop. There you go. Let's see. Six inches, yeah. Bro? <laughs> 14 and a half. 14 and a half inches for a jack a smelt. Hey, that's crazy. It's a really nice jack smelt. Something up? 
Yeah, I think you got something. Got something on. Yellowfin croaker on nice. the sand crabs. Yellowfin. Very nice. That also looks like an eight incher. Really nice croaker. Well, while we're waiting, let's do a little quick recap of regulations. For fishing in California, any public pier does not require a fishing license. If you wanna head out to, let's say, Oceanside Pier, you don't need a fishing license. You just gotta be careful where you cast. It can be very crowded. You don't wanna tangle anybody's line with yours. But since you don't need a fishing license, piers overall are, ooh, I think I got a nibble. Something's nibbling. Okay, nibble stopped, I'm just gonna leave it. Pier fishing is super beginner friendly, especially with bait and weights. I always like to target surf perch anyways. So size six hooks, shrimp, mussels, and those pink fish bites, they're really good out here. It is a lot better to come early in the morning, more convenient for you to find a parking space, especially in the summer, this place becomes really packed. Pure Life got something, looks nice. Fish on, fish on, fish on. It's a decent croaker. Oh, very nice, very nice. On fish bites. At least the fish bites are working. Yep. Let's try to get this guy off the hook. Well, I guess I'll just keep talking and we'll see if there's another bite. I'm not sure if there is a max rod limit that you can have out. There probably is, but you only have two rods. That's usually good enough for me too, in terms of convenience for yourself. Sometimes the waves are really rough out here though. So I do recommend a heavy sinker, especially if you're doing a lot of bait and weight where it's just gonna sit out there. For my setup right now, I'm using a six ounce claw sinker. The shape of the claw will just kind of help it from being dragged around too much when there's a wave that comes splashing in. But man, look at the water. It looks beautiful right now. Finally getting some nibbles again. Might be another really small fish. There is activity. There are a good chunk of nibbles. Well, that was the wave. I'm just nibbling a little bit more. So if you're getting a whole bunch of dinky nibbles and you're not sure if the fish is on, you can always grab a little bit of the line and just gently tug. Kind of go slow until you feel a little tension. That's usually going to be the weight. And then you just pull a little bit more to see if anything fights back. If something fights back, that means a fish is there. If it doesn't, then they probably took your bait and left. Quick trick you can do if you're just getting a whole bunch of nibbles. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anything. I'm gonna go ahead and reel up and check the bait. I'm pretty sure all the bait's nibbled away right now. Wait, I think I did catch something. A very dinky jack smelt. This is usually the average size we would find them out here. Tiny little jack smelt boy. I guess five inches. Didn't know jack smelts went for mussel. Not really targeting jack smelts, but at this point, while well, we're waiting for surf perch and croakers, any fish is a good fish. A little jack smelt won't hurt. Got a fish. Oh yeah, that's a decent one. That's a really nice one. Oh yeah. Holy crap, that's a really nice one. He went for the sand crab. How big do you think this is? Barely lip two. Let's measure him. 12 and a half. 12 and a half yellowfin croaker. Beautiful fish. That guy went for the sand crab on the bottom hook. Wasn't getting any more action with the mussels. When in doubt, just swap your baits. You never know. Let's cast it back to the same spot. Sand crabs are a really good bait out here in the surf zone. A lot of fish species like to eat sand crabs. If you're ever fishing in the surf zone and you can get your hand on some sand crabs, always get some. The back limit for sand crabs is like 50 a day. You're never really gonna use that many. So if you grab like 25 of them, that's usually pretty solid for a good fishing session. Fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on. Ooh. Ooh. That was a really nice corbina though. So fun fact, corbinas actually really like to be in super shallow water. People have seen them feeding on sand crab beds in like one or two feet of water. It's pretty crazy. Perfect time to use sand crabs. It's one of their favorite baits. I think I should have reeled it in slower. It was barely hooked in the mouth. Corbina has more fragile mouths than spot fins. So either we should have got a net, which we don't have, or I should have at least tried my best to I think you lost another Corbina. 
Yep. It's a shovel nose. A nice little shovel nose guitar fish. I think you got them in the nose. Yeah, these guys put up a pretty nice fight when they're bigger, but most of the time we're just gonna throw them back. That shovel nose was caught on sand crabs, so they'll go for them too. Got a fish? How long has that been there? No idea. Nice, it's a little barred surf perch. These guys like sand crabs. They make up like 90% of their diet. Baby leopard shark. Looks like he got hooked in the tail. I got a shovel nose too. Oh, it's a good size one. Right, how do I bring this up? Slowly and carefully. You got mine. Shovel nose guitar fish. See you. Oh, he went away real quick. Got another one back to back. Looks like um, another yellowfin. Well, pretty small yellowfin. Back to back. <laughs> Let's go. Really nice. Look at that bend. Another shovel nose. Getting some dinky nibbles again. It's just dinky nibbles for me. You're the one who's been catching everything. Well, we're hooked on something. Got a crab. Is it a crab? No, it's a pile of mussels. All right, that's some bait right there. Okay, swing it over, swing yeah! it over. Yeah. Woo! All right, the sun looks like it's on its way down. I think I myself am gonna call it. Already caught a decent amount of fish for today. Pure Life caught way more fish than me and he lost way more fish than me. So I think it's a good time as any to just take a break, relax and enjoy the view. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.